This is a review of the TFC Toys Target Droids. TFC EX-004. I have here four sets. And I knew of two of them, consisting of these two guys and these two guys. But the four guys in the back, I did not know existed until I stumbled across them on eBay the other day. I, I'm having a hard time finding any information about them, actually. They almost strike me as sketchy, like they might be knockoffs. But there's also a news article on TFW stating that they are limited exclusive editions, but the box doesn't indicate anything like that. But, whatever. So, um, who should we look at? Let's start with Hot Flame. Who is this? Hot rodish looking guy. And we're going to try and make this quick because there's eight of them. And this one is unique mold. First complaint is the hip joints are way loose. Um, as you can see. Oh, assuming I'm staying in frame because I'm not looking. Loose. Other than that, the sculpt is good. The paint is actually quite nice. Um, and it's just his hips. So I'll have to tighten it up and see if I like this guy a little more. Because if I do, there is a fifth set that is also supposedly an exclusive. And that is a... Is it a Shattered Glass? Optimus Prime and this guy? Sorry, Opti-Aim and Hot Flame. But yeah, that's kind of... Not cool. He has a neat little gun. And hey, here he is next to Classics slash Generations... Hot Rod. I like it. Um, his gun mode is kind of lame. His is, this is the worst gun mode. Um, I'm probably not even going to remember how to do it without getting out the instructions, but the problem is mainly stuff does not clip together, plug in together. It just kind of rests in a specific spot, and you pretend that it's a gun. Um, I thought these were supposed to go up. This comes back here somehow, and I wish these hips were not so loose. I'm going to have to... Something more or less like that. And that is sort of his target master mode. It's cool looking, um, and I would like it if it snap together better. I mean, these just kind of hang on there. There's nothing for them to grip onto. These just hang out there. At least these stay because the shoulders are stiff and because the hips are not, these don't. Um, but it makes for a big gun. Oh, and I just popped it apart. Looks like this one has a stepped weapons port so that this guy who has smaller hands can wield him. Well, if we pretend that he's on there, then it would look something like that. Isn't that great? Hot Flame. The worst of the bunch. At least until I tighten the sips. Um, let's start randomly here next with Mega Shoton or Mega Shoton, who's clearly meant to be a little Megatron. His problem is this uh, clip does not clip enough. I think I need to add some super glue or something to build out that little corner so it will catch a little stronger. Because whenever I go to move his legs, if I'm holding his chest, it pops open. Because his joints are pretty nice and snug and tight, and I quite like him. He's a nifty looking little. Megatron, and I was not supposed to review his uh, his bot mode until I returned my new Megatron to its proper mode. Or, yeah. Clearly I know what I'm doing here. So about his little gun thing. I should probably pause this so I don't embarrass myself trying to transform a target master on camera not knowing how to do it. 
There we go. That clips in there. That rotates up. And this one comes in here. Clearly, this gun mode is a robot doing the splits and broken in half. It's not super disguisey, but it's kind of reminiscent of what G1 Megatron should be. It has a scope, and for some reason I always find that to be very important. Here he is next to another third-party G1-esque Megatron who's so not going to fit in frame. I got Hegemon today, and I am super excited. It is gorgeous, and maybe I'll review it someday, even though it's probably been well covered on YouTube. But the point being, uh, look, a gun with a scope. I like. Uh, he... Mega Shuton is not going to see a lot of time in this particular mode. Uh, I don't hate it. I don't have a Megatron in robot mode handy to display him, but here he is, being wielded by the least likely person imaginable. It's big. This is taking too long. Okay, let's go to the important ones. The Seekers. We got Screamer, Warp, and uh, Thunder, I believe. And they look really great in, in bot mode. There they are next to Classic Skywarp. Half the size. They have decent posability, and maybe I should have talked about that on the other guys, but these guys actually all have decent posability. Got a good ball elbow, ball shoulder. This one has rotating up. Um, Megatron did not have that joint. Ball hips, ball knees, and that's it. In this case, Megatron, as we saw, has a back bending waist joint, if you want to count that, which you probably don't. Um, I like warp, because I like black and purple and silver. Clearly, it's not even close to the same color as Classic's Sky Warp. I do not have a hanky Sky Warp, but maybe it's closer to that. I do have a Arms Micron Sky Warp. Is he kind of close to that one? Not really. Okay, well, that was curious. This thing turns into some weird approximation of a gun thing. And unfortunately, it's not all that great of a gun mode. I like it only because it's Starscream and Skywarp and it has jet motifs and what with the big wings. But it doesn't clip together quite as solidly as I would like. And if you don't fold the head away first, then it's hard to reach to get a post out. It looks kind of cool, but it's a little bit sloppy in execution. And the repaints suffer from the same thing. But as little dudes, they're cool. Uh, Thunder there could have used a little more, I don't know, detailing, black wash? I don't know, he's alright, but Thundercracker's never been a favorite of mine. But Skywarp and Thunder... Sorry, Skywarp and Starscream are. And they're cool little dudes, and I like them. The little gun is removable. It's a 5mm peg hole, I believe. So I guess you could do something with that. And then we have the Opti-Aim. Optimus Prime Homage, clearly. And his repaint, Ultra and Shadow. So Ultra came with Warp. And I really could have bought that set just by itself, because they're my two favorites. Um, except I also need Megatron to have with his three Seeker dudes. Uh, this is also a good little mold. This one has back-going shoulders, part of the transformation. Again, ball shoulders. No, this is actually a hinge shoulder, but it's a ball on the inside. So, still good. Uh, ball elbow, ball knee, ball hip, no feet or anything. No waste or anything. But he can do some good little poses and balance. Uh, 
His hip is a little loose here. I'm going to have to tighten that one up. This one's not bad, but it could use a little bit. This white color is a little off. Here they are with Classics Prime, who is large. This is a Voyager. Here is my Classics Ultra Magnus, and maybe you can see they're just a little off of each other. Um, maybe it's better there. But he's still kind of a nifty little gun mode. Ta-da! Gun thing. I really like the barrel. I think it reminds me of Shockwave, which is why I like it, but I guess all that matters is that I like it. Um, 5mm peg, so you can mount him on give Ultra Magnus a big ass roof cannon, because if I drove a truck, that's what I would want. Big giant laser cannon on it. And this guy doesn't quite clip together as well as I would like. I think the other two didn't have too much problem with it, but... Um, I had notes of some things I was going to say about these. I'm going to pause and be right back. Okay, so I looked at my list, and I wanted to list a bunch of pros and cons on these. Cons. Uh, kind of size. As you can see, they're kind of really big guns for deluxe figures. I don't know why he's falling over. Kind of ridiculous big. Even for a Voyager class, it's still kind of large. Um, some of them have floppy joints, and of course the one I picked up doesn't. On this one, due to the design of the Classics Prime figure, the forearm gets in the way of this. It's barely pegged in. So he can't actually hold it all that well in his fist. He can hold it just fine in his little weird back thingy, and I guess he can have a over-the-head cannon if you want to look even more silly. The gun modes are iffy. Uh, Megatron's is pretty horrible. It kind of flies apart at the littlest thing. His peg is apparently too small because it just is spinning freely in Shockwave's hand. Of course, he's the one that's most likely to never see that mode again. Mostly I bought these for the robot modes. I like having little... I like having well-made little figures. I don't like Legends class figures at all. Uh, Hasbro ones. But third-party ones that cost a lot more money and have a lot more to them are better. This thing apparently was not glued very well because it popped apart. Um... But it's a good little posable Megatron figure, and I, I like the character choice that they made. That they did Optimus Prime first, sorry, Opti Aim, that they could repaint twice right away as Shadow and Ultra Magnus. They did the Seeker mold so you can get these three dudes. Um, I'm messing up my light. I like them. I'm. They're certainly not perfect. A few of them have far too many loose joints. I'm going to have to do a little more fixing than I would like, considering the price. I paid... Uh, I bought all four sets from the same seller on eBay. And I think it worked out to about $20 <clears throat> for each one of these. But that was because the original two sets of Opti-Aim and Mega Shuton and Screamer and Hot Flame, those ones were much cheaper. Um this set and this set I think were shoot closer to 65 70 for the two pack rather than 50 I don't remember I'm not displeased I don't mind that I have to do a little bit of paint work but you may not like that paint um, is not what I meant glue work the paint is a plus of these I think I think the paint work is excellent they have a lot of painted on detail um, you cannot see it probably at all on the camera, 
But Skyrope has little tiny yellow eyes. And Sky Starscream has little tiny red eyes. Megatron has red eyes. Thunder, I think, had yellow eyes as well. They have lots of nice little paint detail. The posability is good. I think the character selection is cool. If they tweaked this one a little bit and gave us a dirge and a ramjet, I would totally buy those. I would buy more of these if TFC made more. I, I'm a fan of theirs right now. Very looking forward to the Project Uranus and... I love Hercules, of course. Anyway, babbled on enough about these. This review is even less structured than I had intended, considering I read and wrote notes. Target Troids. I like them. You might not recommend. Come on. I like Skywalker better than Star Oh, and I had meant to transform Hegemon and show him next to this guy, but Hegemon's really tall. Anyway, the end.